We've always been the lucky country, but after years of drought, fires, repeated floods and a pandemic, some of us are wondering if the luck's run out. Right now, the people of Echuca in Victoria are preparing for the mother of all floods. They've built a levee bank to protect the town, but John McCann and his daughter Erin are on the wrong side of it. John and Erin, thank you for your time. You know, I, I knew that you were on the wrong side of the levee bank. I didn't realise they were building it right outside your house and boy it's got to hurt to look at that and know that they're going to be safe on the other side and you're going to be right under it on your side. Yeah there's about, oh there's probably about 30 or 40 of us I suppose, houses. There's another street behind us and um, they're flooded down on the corner already. So uh, yeah interesting times ahead, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, and what are you doing to prepare for it? We've sandbagged about three or four bags high, but the amount of water they tell us is coming, we just stop because there's no point spending more money on sand and bags and stuff when, you know, you, you might go up three feet high and it's, they reckon it's going to go straight over, so we just stopped. No point going any higher because if we had to go any higher, it'd have to go above the height of the levee. What we're hearing is that you've got a couple of days before the big water hits. Do you know how high it's going to be and what have you done to prepare for that? Have you moved everything out of the house? Yeah, we've moved all the electrical goods, the fridge and freezer and washing machine and stuff. And the rest of it we've got sitting on trestles, um, all except for the tally in the lounge suite. And when the water comes, we'll, we'll lift them up and unplug everything and wait and see if it's going to come inside. You know, I, I know that logic says that in a situation like this you try to protect the most number of people and you try to protect the town and I know that that's what that levee bank that we see being built behind you is all about. But it's really hard to subscribe to logic when you, you find yourself on the outside of it, isn't it? It's harder when they did when the last big flood we had was in 1993 and they did the same thing then and they've had all that time, like nearly 30 years, just shy of 30 years, to build some flood defences sort of thing, and they haven't lifted a finger. That's what makes us wild. Have people in the town been asking for that since 93? Because I know, John, you've lived there for, you know, 40 years or something. Has there been lobbying for better yeah. flood protection? Well, we've had, we've had town meetings and we've, we've put our point across to them and all that sort of stuff. And, they just go, yeah, 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 that'll be right, we'll fix that sort of thing. They forget all about that. You know, and I'm born here, I've been here for nearly 64 years, I'm 64 next week, and um, I'd never seen this, I'd never seen action like this before. I'd never seen the main shops in the main street sandbagged before. So it's a bit worrying. Well, well it is worrying, and they're, they're talking about a one in a thousand year event, which is... You know, that's kind of the mother of all floods and, and you really don't know what to expect. You don't know how high it's going to be, do you? That's exactly right. We've got no idea. They're saying this and then they're saying that and no one actually knows what's happening. At one in a thousand years, we haven't been in Australia for a thousand years. I <laughs> know. I think that. I think so they're I don't know just. How they work that out. I don't know. That's one of the descriptions I read, and I, I think they're just saying it's going to be a very, very big flood, which is bad news if you're on the uh -huh. wrong side of the bank, I guess. I know that there are three yeah. generations of you living in that house. Erin, your three boys, your young boys, are normally there. I guess you've got them out. Yeah, that's exactly right. I um, gave the boys' dad a call and said I'm. You're going to have to come and grab the boys. He lives up in Lake Boga on top of a sand hill. So I got my boys out just because it's just too... We just don't know what's going to happen. And if as long as they're safe, you know, and they're, I was talking to them today and they're crying because they're not with their mum. And But what do I do? I just, I've got to keep them safe. Well, you do. You were, what, five, I think, in 93 in the last flood, and that, I think, makes you roughly the same age as your youngest. What do you remember of that? I remember Mum carting me across the levee bank and taking me to kinder. I remember the levee, the levee at that time was probably half the size of this one. Are you both going to stay? What, what's your plan? I mean, you won't be able to stay if you go under, will you? 
have to get out. We'll stay until it starts to lap at the door. Then we'll then we'll um, put the land suite up and clear off. And, and if it starts yep. to lap at the door, how are you going to get out? Well, I suppose you can climb the levee and hopefully it'll be dry on the other side. Yeah, I will just, yeah we'll just walk through it. Yep. That's yep. what gum boots are for, Trace. <laughs> Gee, they build you tough, don't they? <laughs> Because the other theory that we're hearing is that this levee bank might turn the town into a dam if, if the rain that is forecast on you know Friday and over the weekend is as bad as everyone's saying. There's going to be a dam inside the town because of the levee bank and you'll be part of the river on the outside. I don't know if that'll happen. I mean, the stormwater drains aren't the best, but yeah, look, we'll just have to wait and see. How are you both feeling? Are you cranky? Are you cranky about all of this? Yeah, really grumpy. Oh, yep. uh, yeah. Mate, yep. I'm, I'm pretty pissed off, to be honest. And I'm devastated that I had to, you know, separate myself from my children for safety. Um, and, and just the fact that they could have sorted this out 30 years ago. They've had 30 years to build a flood bank on the other side where all of us could have been safe, but they did not a friggin' thing, and now we've got this monstrosity out the front. Have you had any help with sandbagging? Have volunteers turned up to help you? Because you're all the ones who are going to be in, you know, in a terrible crisis in a couple of days if, if this water is as bad as we're hearing. We've had heaps of people come past offering help, you know, and there's been people coming and going all the time saying, do you want to go higher? Do you want to go higher? But what's the point when there's a levee that size? Out the front, there is absolutely no point going any higher. All the young people in town, they've just been unbelievable. They've been marvellous. They're filling sandbags at the depots. They're, they're wandering the streets looking to find someone they can help. Yeah, no, they've been good. Well, you are all in it together, aren't you? And I, yeah. I guess I guess this is it's yep. times like this when we see the best of people. Why did they choose your street to put the the levee bank down? Was there another option? Could they have kind of wrapped you into the you know into the town? Yeah, they could have went down the street behind us. We're in Goulburn Road. Yep. Pakenham Street runs behind, but it's too late. It's already underwater down there. Uh. So they had to come this way. But, but you don't have a problem with the yep. building of the bank, do you? Uh, or do you? I mean, can you understand that the town needs to be protected? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We but... understand. But the problem is, if they had a, pulled their finger out 30 years ago and built a proper flood protection, this wouldn't have had to happen. Like, don't get me wrong, we're, we're happy for the people on the other side that they're going to be dry. But it's just, we're pissed off at the council. You, they should have done something sooner. And now we're stuck, we're going to be underwater just because they didn't do their job. You got insurance? Yep. Thank God. Yeah, well, that's yeah. something. Wait and see, eh? That's the go. Wait and see. <laughs> well, we're all thinking of you and we've got our fingers crossed for you and I don't know that that's going to do you much good, but, you know, maybe it's nice to, the, to know that you're in our hearts and in our minds and uh, we'll talk to you in a couple of days and hopefully it's better news. Thanks, Trace. We've okay. got, all, got all our friends across the road looking out for us, so, oh. yeah, she'll be right. OK, no worries. Good on you both. Thank you. Good on them. I hope they're OK.